We've talked a lot about automation and all of the advanced things you can do with it in previous chapters. One thing we failed to mention was that you can actually draw automation directly onto events. Cubase calls them event envelopes. It's great when you just want to quickly do some volume automation on an event, without having to pull down the automation track and work on it there. The only downside is that it's for volume automation only. To add an envelope point, click the event with the pencil tool. An envelope curve and a curve point will appear. Just drag the curve point to adjust the envelope shape. Notice that the waveform is changing to reflect the changes that we're making. We can add as many curve points as we like. To remove a curve point from the envelope, click on it and drag it outside the event, or you can simply hold the shift button and click on a curve point. The envelope curve is a part of the audio event, and it will follow when you move or copy the event. However, if you copy an event with an envelope, you can make independent adjustments to the envelope in the original event and the copy. Even when we don't have the pencil tool selected, the envelope still shows up as an uneditable line. We can apply an envelope to the audio clip using the envelope function on the process submenu of the audio menu if you want to permanently apply one instead of keeping it around. However, as you can clearly see here, this is not the envelope that we created on the project page, but the last envelope you drew in this editor. To remove an event envelope curve from a selected event, open the audio menu and select the Remove Volume Curve option and everything will be back to normal.